Joni D and Little Joan in her jacket. And this is a screenwriter's rant on Harold and the Purple Crayon, based on the children's book. For some reason, Hollywood thought this would be a good idea. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Heart in South Jersey. It's the Pioneers books 1 through 13. Oh, sorry. 1 through 14. Ah, dropped today. Uh, book 14 is out. Kindle. The Kindle is live. The uh, book will be out live soon. Anyhow. Ah, uh, this movie. It's about a magic crayon that can do anything and uh, fake characters that escape to the real world played by Rel and, uh, what's his name? Uh, Shazam, Zachary Levi. And somebody else, I think. Some kid. Um, I don't know. Adults try to make these movies for kids and I think they think kids are soft-headed idiots when they make them. I really do. I can't imagine a kid watching this movie go, wow. <laughs> I just can't. I mean, I, you know, I like the cast. Some of them anyway. I, I like Zachary Levi. I think he's funny. But, uh, yeah, I, it, it just seems like so stupid. Like, it's, it, it seems like a huge... Pr I was just arguing with somebody in the YouTube comments about uh, saying that The Crow looks overproduced. This looks completely overproduced, right? Like, it doesn't have to be this crisp and clean and on point. It really needs to be... Like a, like a concept like Harold and the Purple Crayon really needs to be about the characters way more than it needs to be about the Purple Crayon. Okay, so you could draw anything with the purple crayon. All right. But it's for kids, so you can't, you know, like, there's only so much you can draw. Yeah, all right, so you draw a dragon and it comes to life. You know, with CGI, that's pretty easy now. It's not, it's just not that spectacular. And, like, one of the things he draws in the uh, in the trailer is, a, is an airplane. And then they get in the airplane and fly around. That doesn't even seem like a thing a kid would be interested in, really. Like, when my nephews and niece were young, like, trains. They were in the trains when they were really little. Um, I don't know. They would have picked, uh, picked something very corporate because, you know, that's the way kids are. They would have picked Disney stuff. They can't draw any of that, I guess. I, this is from Sony. Maybe there's a Sony character in the mix, but it just seems like they had this concept. They bought the rights to this very popular children's book, and it's not. I'm not knocking the book at all. Let me just say, for the record, I'm sure the book is very nice. But you know, just because you have a couple of fairly famous actors and you throw them into this thing like what does that mean like I, I, Harold was a little like baby with the crayon and he could draw stuff that was the cool kind of part about the concept I believe so why not have uh, you know a baby Harold draws all sorts of crazy stuff and like he can't even speak right like a baby Harold that he can't even talk yet, but he's drawing all kinds of stuff. That, to me, would be far more interesting than having Zachary Levi do it. Who I like. I like him as Shazam. Is he supposed to be Harold grown up, I guess? Or is he the guy who created Harold? I guess he's Harold grown up because he's wearing Harold's outfit. So, uh, that seems weird. Putting Rel in it. I don't even know why he's in it. He's not Harold. Uh, and then the kid, I, I don't know. Is he is he in the real world? I, it, these movies never look great to me. You know, this whole like, oh, there's a magical world, and then there's the real world. Well, I don't know. Do something cool with the real world then. I don't know, cure cancer, stop war. Uh, do something like huge, like insanely huge. Give everybody a million dollars. I don't know. Something like gigantic, and then uh, have people go nuts. 
Um, but, you know, you know what this is going to be. He's going to be running around with the crayon. And it, he's, you know, because it's a kid's movie. He'll be uh, kind of dopey, but, but well-meaning. And he'll draw crazy things with the crayon. And, you know, for about, for about 30 seconds, it'll be kind of cool. And then you'll just be like, okay. <laughs> right? Like, how many things would you draw if you had this crayon? You'd, draw, you'd be drawing nonstop. Like, it, it, he appears to get a job in the movie. Why? Just draw yourself some money, dude. Just draw yourself some money and a house and, I don't know, a hot girl. I, I get it. It's a kid's movie. I'm just joking around. But I just don't see... The crayon's not the focus of this thing seems to me it's about Harold's imagination and if Harold's an adult then it, it kind of doesn't work you know it's basically Green Lantern for kids right some things just shouldn't be turned into a movie some things are better where they are probably better as a book or a coloring a coloring book that comes with a big purple crayon that would be kind of cool I'm sure they've done that yeah, I just, you know, just because you have an IP doesn't mean it's going to be a good movie. Will it be good? I, I guess. I mean, I guess there's a big enough fan base that parents will take their kids to see the Purple Crayon movie. You know, I guess. There aren't a lot of kids' movies out, so I guess it'll be fun. It, it just seems like, I don't know, stupid and goofy. And maybe it's because I'm just way too old to watch this thing. Just doesn't seem very smart. It just seems like, you know, kind of movie you might see middle-aged adults create for kids. And kids would go, you know, real little kids, I think, would like this movie. I guess there's a big enough audience for that. Like, you know... Kids like, I don't know, seven or eight and under probably be okay with the movie. After that, I think they'd kind of be like bored with it after about mm, 20, 30 minutes of the concept, you know? But I guess that's an audience. I guess that's a big enough audience. Plus, you got the, uh, obviously the adults have to be there. So there, you got, you got a ticket for them. So it just seems like it's, it's too big. Like, this seems like something that, perfect for TV. Like, you put this on TV, and then you, you do a bunch of episodes. You don't put it in a movie. Seems like, it seems weird to put it in a movie, right? Am I, am I wrong on that? Seems like it should be a TV show, or just a direct-to-streaming thing. But Sony makes a lot of weird decisions, so uh, what would be the movie? Alright, so first act, Harold and his magical crayon doing the things he does. And then he decides to make a doorway into the real world, comes to the real world. Ah, now things are different. Second act, he does all sorts of crazy things in the real world. While at the same time he gets a job, at, I think, at a toy store. For some reason. Um, and for a while, the real world is great. And uh, the crayon is great. Everything's going well. And then uh, probably somebody tries to steal the crown or successfully steals it and causes mayhem and Harold has to get it back. And then he does. <laughs> it's not going to be complicated or scary or anything like that. So uh, let's read the write-up. This August, enter a world where anything you draw comes to life. Zachary Levi, Lil Rel Howry. For some reason. Tanya Reynolds. Zoe Deschanel? Really? Uh, makes dreams come true. I guess. Can you... Uh, I don't know. Somebody loses their dad. Can you draw their dad and he comes back to life? I mean, how how much can the crayon do is what I'm wondering. Um, you know, I guess it'll be a fun movie. Oh wait, there's more. Inside of his book, Adventurous Harold can make anything come to life simply by drawing it. After he grows up and draws himself off the book, book's pages and into the physical world, Harold finds he has a lot to learn about real life. 
See, that part of it, I, I don't care about that part. He's a fictional character. Who cares? Uh, and that his trusty purple crayon may set off more hilarious hijinks he thought possible. When the power of unlimited imagination falls into the wrong hands, it will take all of Harold and his friends' creativity to solve, save both real world and his own. Harold and the Purple Crayon is the first film adaptation of the beloved children's classic that has captivated young readers for decades. Yeah, I guess. I guess older people who have kids now would be like, oh, I'll take my kids to that. Directed by Carlos Saldanha and produced by John Davis. Live action hybrid family adventure comedy. Jermaine <laughs> uh, Clements in it. Oh, I thought I saw him. Uh, with Alfred Molina. Oh, Doc Doc. Doc Doc is in it. And with Zoe Deschanel. Oh, good. She's not in it a lot. Um, screenplay written by David Guillon and Michael Handelman, based on the book by Crockett Johnson. Yeah, I, it don't work for me. I, I don't know. Maybe kids will like it. See, seems like something that probably shouldn't be a movie. Anyhow, that's it for me, Tony D. and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say, take it. Uh, this Saturday, I'll be at NerdFest Fan Fest. No, wait. Nerd Force Fan Fest. Nerd Force Fan Fest in Glassboro, New Jersey at the Marriott Hotel. Hope to see you there. We'll see you in the next one.